Welcome to Fluency Practice from Amplify. Developed in partnership with Math for Love, this incredible resource helps students practice fact recall and fluency with numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Each flashcard doesn't just contain the question, but also a relevant visualization of the problem. To start, some of the visualizations are interactive, but become static images as students see the facts more often. When students answer a question correctly, there's a fun sound effect, and the card fills with a bright color. If the answer is incorrect, the card shakes, and students get a second attempt. If the answer is incorrect a second time, the correct answer is shown, and students move on to the next card. Once students have completed all of their cards for the day, confetti falls down the page. We use an approach called spaced repetition, which assigns cards into six different boxes. New cards always start out in box A. If a student answers a card correctly, the card moves up to the next box. If a student answers it incorrectly on the first or second attempt, it moves back into box A. The goal is to get every card into the memory box. Through independent fluency practice, students will have committed facts to their long-term memory. The other important part of spaced repetition is the time intervals between different boxes. Cards in box A are practiced every day. After a card has been in box B for two days, we show it to students again. If they answer correctly, it moves to box C. As you can see, these time intervals keep increasing. We show students a card again, just when they might be about to forget it. There is a lot of research that shows this practice improves long-term retention. It will take at least a month for a card to pass through all boxes and reach students' long-term memory. However, if a student makes a mistake when answering a card in any box, including box E, it goes back to box A, and the process starts all over again. While this may seem complicated, all of it is happening automatically behind the scenes. Students and teachers don't need to worry about what box a given card is in or what cards will be shown on a given day. Fluency Practice automatically selects the most appropriate cards to practice on a given day. We recommend that students spend five to 10 minutes practicing every day. Students looking for more practice on a given day can click into practice mode. In this mode, students see a random assortment of 30 cards that they will have already seen at least once, including cards in their memory boxes. Student answers in practice mode do not impact which box a card is in. Students can practice practice mode as many times as they want in a given day. Teachers can easily assign flashcard sets to students and view their progress on their dashboard. The dashboard will only be accessible to those users who have class rosters of students associated with their account. Once in the dashboard, teachers can select a class and then use the various tabs and dropdowns to access a range of settings and student reports. Students enrolled in a class cannot change the flashcards assigned to them. When they log in to Fluency Practice, they simply see their assigned flashcards for the day. Student users who are not enrolled in a class will be able to change their settings. Thanks for watching this overview of Fluency Practice. We hope it helped you get ready to start working with Fluency Practice.